The purpose of a wrapper is to help publishers work with multiple header bidding partners at the same time. So if there if there is no wrapper, what, what that means is each publisher is building their own custom code in the header that's managing all of the parameters, things like timeouts, uh, things like whether you're going to request things asynchronously or, or, or synchronously, and then all of the calls to each of the partners. So a technology came about which is called the wrapper, and this is how most publishers manage their header bidding setup. There's two main differences uh, or, or, or two main types of wrappers, client side and server side. And just to highlight a little bit of, of what that means, in the client side, the auction code and all of the logic lives on the publisher's page and fires up when the user uh, in the user's browser, whereas on the server side, only that initial call is handled on the on the on the client's browser, and then all of the logic is handled on uh, on the server. and And we'll get into some of the specifics of that. Um, so let me just uh, give an example of what that looks like on the client side. So here on the left, you can see you have the header of a specific page, and there's there are specific snippets of code for each of your SSPs or demand partners. So in this example, there's three demand partners and you can see each one of them is communicated to for a, for a bid request and then re receives, uh, and then bid responses are received within the header. Um, this is a, a client side example. The, the header uh, code on the client side would then be responsible for picking a winner and sending it back to the ad server. So in contrast, on the server side, it's a little bit simpler on your header code and on what's happening on the client browser. Um, there's just a single call to the header. And as you can see here, one call is made to the header, uh, the server side header wrapper. And then that, that uh, piece of technology is responsible for, for making requests to all the SSPs um, and all of the exchanges. So those are the two main technologies uh, that are used today, client side and server side. And we're gonna spend a couple slides and, and some time focusing on uh, some of these the advantages and disadvantages because it does get fairly nuanced um, with respect to those two technologies. There's, there's some key principles that are different. So let's start with uh, the client side header bidding. So what are the main advantages of the client side header bidding? One of the biggest ones is transparency and control. Because all of that code lives on the publisher's page, the, and the publisher is able to, to see everything that's going on, to see what the code is doing, to see what parameters are, to see in what order the demand partners are called. Um, so because of that, that's one big advantage that publishers have in that they have full transparency into what's going on and they can uh, more or less audit and, and confirm the auction logic. Another big advantage is cookie matching. Because there's still that direct uh, communication between the SSPs and the demand partners and the publisher, uh, so the cookie matching from the, the DSPs or the buyers uh, is, is done directly with those SSPs. So usually you have better cookie matching rates on client-side header bid. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the disadvantages. So one of them is page latency. Um, now you're running all of these requests and all of this auction, all of this auction logic um, that could put all on the on the users on the users uh, uh, client, right? Whether it's a, a a mobile device or a desktop device, it's all running on the on the user's client. So this could potentially impact latency, which which could have a uh, an impact on user experience as well as you know the the ads that are actually shown so this is one thing that uh that is a big topic um and the the other big one is auction limits so the other challenge with uh with browsers is that they have 
limits on the number of of uh, of, of a parallel communications on the ports that that can be used. So that limits the number of demand partners. So uh, and this varies browser to browser. Some of the older browsers were were pretty significantly limited, where they could only have six or eight uh, simultaneous communications. I think a lot of the current browsers are more in the sixteen to eighteen. Um, but there are other; those are in, those are needed for for other purposes for the browser. So it is something to consider um, if you add 20, 25 partners on your client side header bidder. Uh, there's a chance that some of those partners may not get the the bid requests and and have time to compete because of some of the auction limitations. So that, those are some of the pros and cons on the client side. Uh, now moving on to the server side. They're two very complementary technologies. Uh, for for a lot of the the pros and cons, they're uh, they're the opposite, right? So on client on client side header bidding, um, transparency and control is an advantage. On server side, it's a disadvantage. And and why is this? This is because you don't control uh, as a publisher. You don't get to see what's going on anymore. There's just one call that's made to that server side header bidding partner, and then all of the logic, all of the intelligence happens on the server side. So that server side container is now responsible for making all of those bid requests to all of the exchanges, for receiving the response, uh, and then for make for deciding and picking the ultimate winner. So that's one big disadvantage is, is that transparency and control, it becomes more of a black box. Um, another one is cookie matching. There's now an additional step in the in the process right so now you have to match cookies with the server side container and then that the cookies are then matched with the individual partners and there has been some some uh, hesitation in the industry because some of these server side container partners are also exchanges so they're competitors with with the ssps that are competing within uh the header bidding there has been some hesitation and and just some challenges with with getting that cookie <laughs> to work seamless. Um, on the other hand, moving on to the advantages, a lot of the advantages uh, solve some of the problems for that, you, that we talked about on the client side. So you no longer have to worry as much about pay late, page latency because that's no longer uh, happening, like the auction and the, the intelligence is no longer happening on the client's browser. So it's, it's done in parallel on a separate server. All of the ad calls, uh, so that that has much less of an impact on the users um, on the users' experience, right? And then the other thing is there you you no longer have those browser limitations that you can only have a certain amount of of partners in your header bidding because now all of those auction calls and responses are made and received um, on a separate server, usually a very high speed, high performing server. So the obvious next question is, who's the winner? So a short answer is there is not a clear winner currently in the industry. Um, and that's why you haven't seen one of the technologies uh, kind of gain massive adoption and just you know, and, 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 and make the other technology obsolete. Uh, and, and why is there no winner? Because because of what we talked about, that the pros and cons of one are the, the cons and pros of the other solution. So on the client side, you have better cookie matching that should drive up the amount that a buyer is willing to pay for any given impression. But because of the latency and the fewer demand partners, you're reducing competition because of those two things and you're introducing latency that could potentially impact the number of ads served. So that counterbalances the improvement on cookie matching. On the server side, on the other hand, you could see an increased yield because there's lower latency, because you're able to add more partners that compete at the same time. But because of the uh, less uh, the, the downside on the cookie matching, then some of the buyers potentially that don't match those uh, given impressions either won't bid or will Bit, would bid uh, a lot less than they would have if they would have matched cookies and they would have understood who that ad was getting served to.